name it zone one or home page or whatever you want to name it set a banner price like forty five dollars for thirty days width 125 height 125 two columns depending on how many ads you want up for now I'm just gonna put up six so you want two columns three rows you give me six if I want eight I'll put two columns four rows rotation factor one zero This funnel you want to use to follow. Move that. Zero percent. Twenty. Um, put a default image in here. In this case, it's this one. I mean, you can go get a go get one from images.google.com. Search for 125 by 125 ads, and you'll find a lot of them that you can, a lot of addresses you can upload to this for a free ad banner and number of default ads to show six update settings now we got six spots to run ads in here I'll show you how to put ads in there a little later so for the most part the blog is set up um, we need to add some categories. First, we'll uh, let's see pages. We'll edit the page. It's here because it's just a about quick edit about the And when you're using slugs, it'll be the same word, just in lowercase, with a dash in between each word. You'll have to excuse my uh, eight words per minute. <laughs> That's the one thing I never have time to sit here. I mean, I type a lot, but I still don't know the exact way method of doing it. So, okay, now we'll go take a look at the site real quick. Show you what we've done. You see, I changed this page. Now it's about the automatic author program. Don't have any categories yet. This is the featured screen we set up. Now this picture up here will change that. Go to church theme options. And you set that. Use dynamic text. Save settings. Visit the site now. Yeah, it's a little bit long for me, so I might have to go back and change that. General. I'll just take off the dot com here. Save settings. So you get here, whatever you put on the blog title will be your top line, and whatever you put on the tagline will be your second line down. So when you visit the site here, and I got a phone call, I'll, I'll catch it later. See, now, it's, uh, now I took off the dot com there. Now we're going to go back over here. We're going to add some categories. Categories. First, I'm going to edit this one. This is the one I'm going to use for the featured category. Uh, 
and it's its own category. You don't need a parent. Update. Now this category is the one that's going to be used for our featured screen on the front page. It's the only one you can't delete. See, so edit and click edit. Don't have delete option. And we're going to add some. Um, Great authors. Great. See, and the slug is always, if it's great authors, lowercase with a dash in between the word. No parent. <coughs> add category. And we'll add another one. Um, I'm going to add ebooks. This blog is about books. Um, no, pa no, cat no parent. It's a main category I like. And we'll go. Start wrong. I don't want a parent for this one, I want my main. So, so these are main categories that'll show up. I'll show you in a minute. Now, if I want to have a drop down box, see, okay, let me show you something real quick. See how there's zero posts in these? If I go to the site, they don't show up, they don't show up here. The only one that shows up is featured because it has content right there. What happened to my categories? They disappeared. There they are. They're back. They're back. Okay. So if I want these to show up on the front page, let's see. I'll need to add a post. There's already a post under featured, so I'm just going to edit this one real quick. I'm going to add it to all those categories. Update that post. Now, when I go to the site, the categories I add show up. They just people wonder why they don't show up. If they add a category, it's not there. It's there, it just don't show up until you actually have content in it. I mean, granted, the content that's in this just says hello world. I mean, that's just a, just comes with the blog. Once you start adding, you know, adding posts and your good, unique content, then you don't, you won't have a problem. Now we're going to go add some more categories. I'll show you how to do a drop down. Okay, books by category. So, oh, what do I want? Inspirational books. I mean, again, you make the categories you want, you know, unique to whatever niche, unique to your blog. And 